hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to look at how we can set up a modular control rig for our third person character real quick create a movement create an animation and then export it into an animation sequence this is a very simple setup and using these modular rigs you are able to create custom animations for your characters so let's jump right in and see how it's done by the way if you're interested in learning how to make a complete first person zombie shooter game in Unreal Engine 5 using blueprints check out my new course in this course you will start with the basics of Unreal Engine and blueprints then you will learn the animation framework in Unreal next we'll create all the animations we need using control rigs and finally you will put everything together and build a fully functional game it includes seven weapons a hot win and lose conditions ammo pickups enemy ai and a wave based game mode check out the link in the description all right so the process is to create a modular control rig then create a level sequence and using that we'll be able to animate our control rig and then we are going to export an animation sequence so here in your content browser go to your control rig section and here in animation and control rig you can create a control rig here as you can see we have two kinds of control rigs the first one is the previous version of the control rig which you have to creates the logic yourself but here the modular rig is the newer version which enables you to do everything automatically and don't go through everything step by step this was added to unreal from unreal 5.4 so if you are using earlier versions you're not going to see this but from 5.4 and later versions you have this so create a modular rig let's name it control rig modular test and open it up so here all you need to do is to import a hierarchy and then using these modules we are able to rig our character so here when you go to your rig hierarchy section you have this import hierarchy option and here you can choose the character it's better to use a character that is rigged based on Unreal's skeleton so if you want to work with something else make sure that the rigging is based on the rigging of Unreal's default skeleton otherwise these modules may struggle to work properly so here I'm going with Queen SKM Queen sample and open it up now here as you can see it says drag and drop the spine module here so here we have the bones and everything is working perfectly this doesn't matter this is for our weapon so it's not the part of the hierarchy of our character so don't worry about this all we need to do is to drag the modules properly on the bones here so here we need to drag and drop the spine module here let's find the spine here it is and grab it and drag it here now as you can see it automatically made these control rigs for you and now using these you are able to animate the character here when you change things and then compile everything will snap back to its default value so don't worry about messing things up here okay now we just need to keep adding these modules to their proper position so these are shoulder modules this is the neck then we have the arm and 
and next we have the legs so here it's the leg and this is the foot module we can also add the fingers here so here grab the fingers and put them on these like this you can also select all these sockets by holding shift and then add the finger module like this great here now as you can see we have these control rigs for the fingers they work like this we have these for the hands and here as you can see when we move the hand the whole area will move and it makes things much easier we have this which defines the direction of the elbow and the other ones for the different parts of our character great and now let's hit compile save and keep this here now if i drag my control rig into my level you can see that it creates a level sequence for our animation process it snaps into animation mode and now if i hit g i can see the controls on my character and now we can animate using this sequencer here so here as you can see we have access to all of the bones and the controls and we can create keyframes so for the start let's put her hands on her waist so here i am going to select this also disable my snaps so i can move freely and position the hand like this it's all about adjusting the position of the controls so it's nothing complicated all you need to do is to spend some time and place things where you want and yeah this is for example the starting position of the character and now here all you need to do is to add a keyframe so here you can go to the control rig hit this plus icon here and it will create a keyframe for all of the bones and the controls here but you can also enable this and when you enable this option it will automatically create a keyframe when you change something so now for example we can go to frame 30 and here put the hand like this so he can wave for us so let's put it here then go up maybe go back maybe a little bit of rotation like this and now here as you can see it automatically created these keyframes for these controls now if i go back and play you can see that i have the movement but we have a couple of problems and we need to fix them real quick so here as you can see the movement of the elbow is a little weird so for example here in the start we can put this 
in these areas then here we can move the hand a little forward so it goes like this here we can also put this downwards and now here as you can see this movement looks much better now and now it goes up and here as you can see we have this movement here and the elbow is not looking weird anymore you can also adjust the position and the rotation of the shoulder here as you can see we have this little twist here and by playing this we can make this look better a little so for example maybe we can rotate it like this or even you can play with the other axis and see how it looks you need to be careful where you do these things so here i was on frame 40 and i moved this clavicle left control on frame 40 but the other ones were on frame 31 so here as you can see from frame 30 to 40 we have this little movement i wanna make the changes all on frame 30 so i'm going to put this on frame 30 as well so everything moves together and now let's say that you want to put everything back all you need to do is to duplicate the other frames on the next frames so here we have these i'm going to grab them Control c and for example put them here now as you can see it's going down like this then again i can grab these Control c and Control v here and now i am coming back like this we need to also do the same for the clavicle bone so again i'm going to copy and paste the default values of my clavicle on frame 45 and now here as you can see from 30 to 45 it goes back to its default position and now i have this movement here this is the basics of how you can animate things in the control rig and also in your level sequence obviously it's a lot of work if you want to create clean animations but the framework is this and using these you can create simple and easy to use animations for your different projects now that we have everything ready we can adjust the length of our animation sequence by adjusting these then right click on your modular control rig and here we have bake animation sequence hit bake give it a name for example animation sequence test save it somewhere in your content browser and export and now here as you can see we have the animation now that we have this animation sequence we can use this in our animation blueprint or we can also create an animation montage from this yeah this is the basics of the modular control rig in unreal this is how easy it is to set up an animation system and create your own animations thanks for watching and if you learn something new please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel